Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Android debugging tutorial. Uh, I've actually, I'm redoing this one because something interesting happened recently. So the app we talked about last time was to journal.ie and they recently really are announced an update. Which is, they added a navigation drawer, but they added this swiping, okay? Now as you can see, that's really laggy, okay? Like it's getting stuck. Look at how bad that is. So we're going to actually track down what this is by using the trace view command. We're going to find what's causing our lag, uh, the trace view tool. So that's what we're trying to do. Let's track it down. So in order for this to work, I have to actually connect up my phone to the computer. It's not showing up in the monitor, as you can see. So I have to disconnect the HDMI connection. So now you're getting a nice no signal warning from my uh, HDMI capture card. Okay, so as you can see, here's my Nexus 5, here's all the apps. So we're going to pick an app, we're going to pick uh, Distilled Media, the journal. And now what we're going to do is, we're going to run a trace view. Now you're going to watch this in high resolution, or you have to, because you won't be able to see anything. I'm going to crush this window off to the right, because you need a lot of space for trace view. So the trace view is this command here, and essentially what trace view does is, or tracing does is, it profiles every single method and how long they took to execute. So, and of what threads they executed on. So we can actually see, you know, this method executed, which called this method, which called this method, and it shows us the whole stack of methods called. It's very cool. Most of the time, these all, you know, 90% of the methods are Android methods, you know, like SQLite, SQL, cursor, native cursor for window, cursor, you know, all this kind of stuff. But we can track down what's causing it in general. So let's start the profiling. And we're going to trace that, trace based profiling. Okay, so now let's just swipe through a few times. And then we're going to click the stop button. And the stop button will now stop the trace. A little spinny circle will come up and we have to wait a few, about a minute. And it's all up here. So here's our trace. Okay. So the trace view is kind of hard to maneuver around. I'm going to zoom it in a bit further. But here's the trace view, okay? So the first thing you'll notice is all the columns. I need to really make this bigger because you won't be able to see anything. But all the rows, these ads here. So as you can see here, we've got threads. So we have our logger thread. Pool 1, pool 2, our pool 1, threads, async task, and our main thread. So let's take a look in here. Let's zoom in on this so we'll highlight an area. And it should zoom us in. There we go. So let's zoom in a little bit further. One thing I figured out, uh, particularly in work, is you cannot do, you cannot use this tool on an OS X machine or with an Apple Magic Mouse, because that thing is so sensitive you can't even touch this without going haywire. But anyway, let's have a look at this main thread here. So the main thread is what's causing the UI block. Uh, let's have a look along all this here. So we're looking along, and I, I'll explain what's happening here, okay? The black area shows CPU power, okay? So CPU power is on the vertical axis, and then horizontal is time. I'll explain what's happening down here, okay, in a second. But what we want to do is we want to figure out what is taking so much effort and time to manage. So let's look for, obviously, UI blocking stuff. So, the stuff in here, there's nothing really much we can see here. This all this brown look is uh, OpenGL canvas. So, that's obviously drawing operations, their usual stuff. What's this big red dot here? Okay, so as you can see, we've got this great big red block here, okay? Blocking the UI thread. So, that's going maxing out our CPU, and it's taking a total time of 7.912 milliseconds and if we look down here it's highlighted it down here for us that as you can see it's 8.1 percent of the total cpu time it took of executing which is a lot and it's it's database operation so we can confirm now that uh, the journal.ie is continuously using the database on the main thread. 
Uh, you can see here I'm looking through some of the other threads, but you can see some of these operations here, some interesting ones here. The view page or layout's a bit complicated, but nothing much. But that database operation is clearly UI blocking. And look at over here. Look at that. That is UI blocking. That is a hundred that's one point six seconds. Now that, in my opinion, it would be unacceptable. And that's running from 1,800 milliseconds to two. That's nearly two full seconds in there of time. Like, that, that's obscene. That's actually scary how much time that is. And it's all database on the main thread. So really, the journal should be using a loader. And that's how you fix this. So let's go through some of the uh, other stuff here. So top level, zero. Let's talk about this view here. Uh, top level, this is every single method being executed, or more or less every method. You can see here, look, handler. So as you can see here, look, the handler dispatch messaging. That handler is actually um, swiping. So dispatch message, you know, internal handler, root down, blah, 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 blah. So that's the handler sending messages around the system, you know, touches have occurred, that kind of nonsense, the usual Android handler nonsense. Most of this stuff here, choreographer, frame, do callbacks, callback, traversal run, perform, traversal, perform layout. So that's all measuring and figuring out the layouts. That's standard stuff on the main thread. But essentially all we're looking for here is UI blocking stuff. Uh, JSON, pretty high actually. But as you can see, the JSON stuff here, so there's a lot of JSON in this. And I've accidentally clicked the wrong item. Scroll back up. It's really easy to get lost in this here because, you know, there's 5,000 traces in here. But, so the JSON is causing that. So, and here's all the methods inside JSON. So this is JSON's binding, but all that's done in the background thread by their logger thread. So all that stuff there is done in there. And you can see it's highlighting the JSON for us, but as you can see, it doesn't require much CPU time and it's in a background thread, which means it won't UI block. Let's go back to the database. So parents, so let's take a look in here, what's actually causing the blockage. Click on this. So parents, as you can see, all database operations, every bit of it is database operations. So they're just not loading on the, on the background thread. What should be happening here is they should be doing database operations on the background thread and then loading them into the UI through loaders. That would be an ideal situation for them. It also allow for data caching and management, all kinds of cool stuff. But anyway, that's a great example, I think, of using the, the uh, tracing tool or trace view to figure out what's blocking your UI when you've got lag occurring and you're getting you know, unresponsiveness. Anyway, guys, as always, I suppose it's been good talk and I'll see you out there.